am back again. <laughs> it's that time of year when I start getting my gear ready. It'll be time for flies. Start getting ready for fishing. The season has started already, but the weather's been absolutely freezing. Icy at night. Terrible weather. And I'm getting soft. <laughs> I'm getting old and I like my comfort. So hopefully now, very shortly, in the next few weeks, I'll start getting fishing again and making videos. But today, I must get my gear ready for going fishing. Here's a little tip for you. <laughs> My wife bought this a duck feather and down natural duvet. And the container, I use this. It's absolutely perfect. Of course, for holding my, my chest wheelers. Perfect. And it'll keep the car clean, especially if you're in a lot of mud. The chest wheelers go in there. It's absolutely fantastic. A little tip for you. fishing at the lake, I eat a lot of fries, a lot of fries, I eat a lot of fries, I drink a lot of beer and a lot of whiskey, and I'm grossly overweight, so all during the winter there, every day I went walking for mags, and I ate fruit, and I died it very hard, and I'm proud to say I didn't lose any weight, I still the same size. <laughs> You only live once, and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We'll keep putting the gear out in the car. <laughs> Getting all my fishing gear ready, I woke up a fierce appetite for a nice bit of fish. I don't have any wild man trout to cook, and I have no bit of salmon. But I have some beautiful mackerel in the fridge to cook. My wife hates the smell of the mackerel being cooked indoors. So now I'm going to earn a few brownie pints and I'll cook them outside while practicing and getting ready for the outdoor life up in the mountains. She'll be delighted when she hears I cook the fish outside. <laughs> I might even get breakfast in bed tomorrow morning. Making toast inside the house while you're outside cooking. It's not a very good idea. I burnt all my toast. But I actually like burnt toast, believe it or not. It's actually lovely. If you scrape it, I get as much of the black off as you can. Get as much as you can off. Try it. Then it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. With a bit of butter and a fish. Sitting at the table and your tragedy lighting at this level on top of the table is very, very dangerous. You could easily knock it over and you go up in a puff of smoke. Health and safety, put your tragedy on the ground. Don't worry about me, I'm a professional. Practicing and getting ready for the outdoor life up in the mountains 
I better have a beer. It's time to tie a big load of flies and fill in all the gaps in my fly boxes for the new season. A beautiful bibio. something else something different <laughs> we need some inspiration the red tear fly very original <laughs> and this is the whiskey chaser <laughs> ah, I think the Jameson's working I'm getting great inspiration great inspiration have another box filled I think that one's filled. Yep. Hang on, there's one more here. There's one more little gap here. Let's fill that one next. Now, what am I going to call this fly? I'm finding it very hard to focus my eyes. I must be getting tired. It has nothing to do with all the whiskey I drank. the snapper fly and I did it again <laughs> ah, I think maybe I'm after one or two Jamesons I think I've tied enough flies tonight I'll call it a day I've still lots of gaps left but we'll call it a day
Now all's left to do is to go fishing. <laughs> fishing on the wild mountain lakes, trying to catch a salmon, or a trout, and frying it on the pan, or some sausages, and rashers, or maybe this year I'll be on a diet, and I'll be eating cucumbers, and carrots, and spinach. Because <laughs> I tell you, I need to lose some weight, and after getting very big, and I have to lose some weight, I won't be able to cook my tent. And I might bump into a few of my old friends down there and maybe make some new ones. So join me for the new season of The Mad Fisherman's Adventures. Until then, good luck! <laughs> Someday soon. <laughs>